kiss. In English, two people's lips touching each other. In Swedish, urine. Gift. In English, a present. In Norwegian, married. In German, poison. Brat. In English, a spoiled kid. In Polish, a brother. Rubber. In British English, an eraser. In American English, a condom. Preservative. In English, a chemical that is added to food to keep it fresh longer. In French, a condom. Sex. In English, physical activity in which people touch each other's bodies, kiss each other, etc. In Swedish, the number six. Molest. In English, to violate someone sexually. In Spanish, just to bother. Mist. In English, very small drops of water in the air. In German, the interjection, crap. Fag. In American English, pejorative term for a gay man. In British English, a cigarette. Embarrassed. In English, feeling foolish. In Spanish, pregnant. Bra. In English, women's underwear to support her breasts. In Swedish, good. Kaka. In English, feces. In Swahili, brother. After. In English, the opposite of before. In German, anus. And don't think this phenomenon only exists in English. If you hear a guy say, Bom dia, you better know what language he's speaking. In Portuguese, it means good day. But in Indonesian, it means bomb him. These have all been false friends. Words or phrases in two different languages that have two different meanings, despite sounding or looking the same or nearly the same. Which false friends pique your interest? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm Andy the Palm Springs Linguist. If you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button down below. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. Please leave a comment down below, like and share the video, and you can choose from any of these great videos to see next. See you in the next one.